Hello everybody, it's Mr. E from Art with Mr. E and today we'll be trying out the wood burning tool from Dollar General. This product costs $10. It comes with three tips. I'm using the detailed tip. I felt like it was most like a pencil or a pen and I would be most comfortable with that. Now I've never done wood burning before, something that I always wanted to do as a child but never did. Now that I am testing the product, I could see why my parents may not have gotten me that. This puppy heats up to like 500, 700 degrees, I don't know, hot, very, 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 very hot. Um, that's kind of crazy to give a child, <laughs> I would think. So it comes with the three tips and it comes with this little metal stand, which took me a hot second to figure out how to use. But you pull up the little Y shape and then they encourage you to tape it down. I guess you could hot glue it down as well. Now I bought these cookie sheets at Dollar Tree. I have a cookie sheet and then I have two oven mitts and then I have another cookie sheet. So cookie sheet, oven mitts, cookie sheet. Just to protect my surface with it being that hot, I'm like, I'm not playing around. <laughs> now, Dollar General does have a lot of wood pieces that you can get to practice on. I picked up these little wood tags. It comes in a, a package of them. And I thought it would be really good to get something like this to test out because, well, it wasn't that expensive. If I mess up, it's not a big loss. Yeah, you get the picture. Dollar Tree also carries a lot of wood pieces. So you have a plethora of places and items to purchase to use your wood burning tool with. Now, I'm very cautious. <laughs> like, eh, it's hot. So we've got the handle, the plug-in. It's got to heat up for five minutes. It has a kind of rubberized grip here. It has a protector guard, and then you don't want to go past this spot. Because even this part is a little warm. It's not hot, but it's a little warm. So you can only imagine what the metal part feels like. So please be careful if you do get one of these products. And as I said, I don't know if I'd recommend it for children. But this needs to heat up for about five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer to start with. So. Um, I also don't think it's a bad idea to tape down some small piece like this. I'm going to risk it because I'm a wild man like that. And we're just going to press it to the surface. Ooh. I like these little tags. I think that would be really fun for Christmas. Maybe if you had like a bigger present that you give people I mean you could reuse the tags possibly my kids would probably lose the tags in the pile of paper and we'd never find them <laughs> but like I said it's from Dollar General it's not that expensive and it's not very hard to do now, I will say that as you are drawing, it does create grooves in the wood, which of course makes sense because it's burning into the wood. So sometimes your stylist, pin, wood burner, whatever you want to call it, wants to follow the groove. You know, it kind of catches the groove and it's not, it doesn't free flow as easily as a, like a pin on paper does. Because, of course, a pen on paper, you're just going on the surface. And here, you're actually going into the wood. Uh, it, but it works really fairly well. Like, I'm... Now, I have this little weird mark that I did not mean to make. And I'm trying to correct it. And I almost feel like I'm overdoing it. Hmm. Interesting. I do like this, though. So I'm just going to try to do it lightly, see if I can make some lighter marks. I mean, I wonder if this would also depend on the type of wood that you're doing. Now, if you notice, I kind of felt like I was doing even pressure, but it went dot, dot, dot. So I'm not sure if it's cooled down or I'm not applying enough pressure or 
you can't really do any kind of shading. I'm not sure. I'm testing it with you, so. Okay, well that's kind of cool. I guess you can kind of cross hatch. So it's pretty amazing right there to get those grooves into the wood. Press, press, press. So you could do dots. I'm just imagining if like I was drawing a picture and not just writing, what could I do to create you know, different values or different textures? It is really warm right here, I will say. And you can tell there's like a discoloration where the metal has been heating up. It's interesting. Hopefully it's not letting off toxic fumes. <laughs> so this is a heart I got at Dollar Tree. Hopefully it's not full of formaldehyde. Let's try this. Now this is a thicker piece of wood. people do with wood burning like do they just rub a stain on it could I water down an acrylic and do kind of like a wash over top of it so it has an overall color but then you would still see the wood burning leave some thoughts in the comments I'd appreciate it this is very fun I do enjoy the smell I enjoy the warmth it kind of reminds me when I was in college for my sculpture class, I did welding. Okay, now I did rip my finger off in that and they thought they're gonna have to amputate half my hand. So I don't know if that's like a good thing that this reminds me of it. <laughs> but I really, I couldn't wait to get back because I had to take an incomplete in the class after I smashed my finger off um, until I healed. And then I couldn't wait to get back in there and do it because the, the smell, the warmth, the fire, I loved it. <laughs> now I do get those like little divots and I don't know if it's I'm subconsciously or unconsciously or I'm not unconscious though. I don't know if it's because I'm resting too long there and it's creating like an extra dot. I don't know. It's fun though, like I really do enjoy this. And for $10, I mean, that's not a bad deal. I think if I practice, I'll get better at it. I mean, I have so many hobbies and so many different art mediums that I'm like experimenting with and trying. Will I ever develop this one? I don't know. But I do enjoy trying new things. And I think it would be interesting if I developed this more and then I could also paint on the wood that I am burning to create like different textures. I don't know. It's got possibilities, right? All you wacky artists out there, what you think? <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of a fan, guys. I think that this is pretty cool for $10. It's a minimum investment to try something new, and I always enjoy trying something new, so that's kind of a good thing. So give it a try. It's at Dollar General, $10 wood burning tool, and there's plenty of wood pieces there to purchase. All right, bye y'all, have a good day.